Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Elf Ronan here again, and today we're talking about Todoroki, but not normal Todoroki, Todoroki in My Hero 1 Justice 2 Remix Edition. So, uh, this isn't going to be me fully going over like his full like patch notes and all of his changes and stuff, I'm just going to be talking about how he's different and why he's so much fun to play in this version. And most of it's to do with combos, because that's what I like most out of a lot of fighting games. Combos are important to me. <laughs> so, uh... Let me just show you. Like, Todoroki's combos are so cool. Like, watch this. Like, that wasn't even optimal, and that was 11,500 damage, and it was so cool. Like, this meterless extension at the start. You cannot tell me this is the coolest thing you've ever seen as combos in this game. And then dashing in with a red attack. Like, man. That is so- oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. And you can actually go for the setup there as well, if you go like, um... To the quirk one, and you can go into a red attack. And then they're stuck there, 9,000 damage, and then you can put the reset there. And then go in for another full combo that way. It's abs it's just so cool, I cannot fathom how fun it is to do these combos. So what kind of changed is like, the kind of the hit reaction to quirk one is slightly different. Like, sometimes you can just combo off of it normally like this, like if you're fast enough. Um, I mess that up a lot. I probably shouldn't be trying while I'm recording, because... Oh, there we go. Look, I did it. Um, yeah, look at that damage. One dash cancel. Jeez. But, um, and also off of his Tilt Quark 2 string, they have a lot more, um, like, hit stun, so the opponent can't recover as quickly, which means I can go into a Quark 1, and then because the Quark 1 hits late, and, you know, doesn't hit them instantly like it does here. It has to do like the whole charge up and then hit them. That means I can dash, like, do my red attack because I've got that much time. And oh my god, it's just so much fun. So I go a few hits into the yellow attack until quirk two, quirk one, red attack, a few hits, quirk two, quirk one, and then they get to fall, have to fall on the ground. That's also something that had changed. The opponent now can't recover from this fall down state. It's a hard knockdown where they have to accept the, like, uh, invincible wake up rings. So if you end your combo in this, you can do another one. Oops. Or do that, and then they have to wake up into the ice, and they either have to block, or do like a sidestep or something to get out of there quickly, or else they're just gonna get hit by the ice, and then you get to go in for another full combo if they end up getting hit by that and wake up. And a lot of the time you can just go for like, wait, so, so I end my combo in that, and then I put this down, and then they, oops. <laughs> Holy lord. Anyways, they wake up into it, you go for a combo, you get damage. And you, but you can't get it twice in a combo, as you just saw there, he falls down a bit earlier. But uh, yeah, that's the main thing that's different, and that's what's really enjoyable. And also, also, there's two ways you can get a combo off of this like situation that I showed before. So you can either have the grounded version, where you go for the red attack, and you go in for the setup off of the two ice attacks. And then you get to place things on the ground here, see how there's a ton of ice on the ground that he needs to wake up into. Or you can go for a version that's just more damage, by after you do the quirk one, you can hold down like the movement button, and then he'll do the slide and you get to do an aerial combo that does a little bit more damage and it'll look like this. Um, yeah, sometimes it does 10,600 damage, it just depends on, um, I don't know, how the combo wants to work and where you end up. Like sometimes, if the fireball, depending on your positioning, the fireball gets extra hits, and it adds a little bit extra damage, but yeah, that's a lot of damage there for like zero dash cancels. And it's also just so oh, oops, I missed it up. It's also just such a cool combo, like Oops, I did that a bit late. My goodness, what am I doing? So a few hits into the yellow attack, quirk two string, quirk one. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> really? One more try. There we go. So it'll be a little bit more damage depending on how many hits you get off the fireball. But yeah, like almost 11,000 damage for zero dash cancels is really big for a character like Todoroki, who is usually just like only good for going for like wake up setups and stuff. So it's really cool that he can get these big chunky damage combos. And I love that he has a two options for his combos. Like he can either do the version that goes for like the setup and like stay on the ground by doing a red attack. Um, if you don't fail like I do. That was weird. 
So you can either go for the, like the grounded combo where you can go for the setups afterwards, or you can go for the like aerial version. I just think that's so cool how you have the option to do that, and it just gives like so much combo freedom and stuff. And man, that's just so much fun. I love that. And um, yeah, obviously this means he also gets a lot of damage like with his plus ultra one and stuff. So like if I do a simple combo like this. And that does a Meteor Blow, so now I can go for Plus Ultra 1. Then bring it Aizawa. And then go for that. That's not optimal damage, but that lets him not go, like, get, doesn't, he doesn't do the, um, go, what's it called? He doesn't get a Meteor Blow. So he stays there for a while, and I can go for the setup. Wait, I don't even remember how much damage it was, but it's like 15,000 damage for zero dash cancels, just a plus ultra one and my Aizawa, and I get to go for a setup on wake up. Like, that's just crazy. You can go for a little bit more damage, but like, it's, you know, Todoroki's about the setups, and you may as well go for the setups. But if you want to get a little bit more damage, you can probably do something like this. Oops. Damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can get a bit more damage that way. And you can also get some extra damage by um, if you end the combo like without a plus ultra one and you want to do something like this. And I'll use Jiro for this example. So you can do something like this. And then go for the setup. So like 11,000 damage there. Still no meter. But I get to have a little bit extra damage. And I just have to use my Jiro support. And like by the time I do like all these combos and stuff, like Jiro's like probably nearly back after I get, you know, the reset and stuff. So yeah, really powerful stuff with Todoroki. And that's really all the major changes are. Once again, I haven't actually gone through all of the patch notes, because uh, I'm lazy. And but I will do that afterwards. But from what I can tell, he is such a fun character now. Like being able just yeah, <laughs> this simple thing here just makes him such a fun character. Being able to do this, it actually gives him like good meterless damage. It gives him flexibility in his combos. He's just so much fun, and yeah, there's just so much cool things you can do with him now. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else? You know, obviously he still has his, like, charged Quark 2 combos, but you don't really need those now, but he can get meterless combos, like, without it. Like, I guess he can still- actually, I wonder if I do this. If that still works. Oh, there we go. Now that's cool. So he can get... Okay, now I need to try this. So if I use my charged Quirk 2 in a combo, I can actually get the combo, the damage I would get with the support, but without my supports. Oops, it doesn't work if you too close to the wall. So if I do something like this... And then go with my red attack. So now I can be getting like over 10,000 damage and get the like resets on this wake up. That is crazy. So just if he charges up his quote too, that is. Wow, wow. Okay. And uh, yeah, honestly, I think that's all I have to talk about. Todoroki is just such a cool character in the remix version of the game. Uh, I'm excited to see if I can play with him a bit online because, damn, all these resets, all these combos, what's not to like? And obviously he's still got the same zoning that he's always had. So like, what's not to love? I also believe he can curve a bit now on his... Um, his tilt work on, but you can't really tell. See, like, I can kind of angle it a little bit. Yeah, see, look, there's some curve in there. But, uh, yeah. That is my video about Todoroki. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.